Happy Monday, church family. So excited to bring you this message. We had a great time in worship yesterday, and I just wanted to follow up because this is a a big week in the life of our church. This weekend, as you know, uh, Chris Gary is coming in view of a call uh, to serve as our next pastor of children and, and pastor of administration. And, and part of what that means to bring someone in view of a call is we're bringing them out to for the you as the church to meet, to be able to uh, ask questions and interact with, and then ultimately to bring them uh, next this coming Sunday morning uh, for a vote by us as a church body as to whether or not we uh, we feel this is God's man and into an issue a call to him. And so I just I just want to remind you of a couple things as we get ready. All of this, uh, as you know, you can find on the website at fbcpville.org slash Chris Gary. You can find it via the link if you just go to the main page. But this Saturday, we'll have two different opportunities to meet Chris and interact with him. The first of those is at 11 a.m. in the MPB, and that's that's reserved exclusively for parents and children who are tied to our, our children's ministry, or maybe you're a volunteer in the children's ministry. We just we want a chance, especially for the kids, to get to interact uh, and, and get fair shot at him. And then the second is in the MPB at well at 2 p.m. And that's for anyone in the church. And that'll be a time, both of those, to meet Chris, to meet his wife Denise, and and to get to ask him questions, to hear his heart and his sense of of calling and direction and vision of ministry from the Lord. And then on Sunday, uh, we'll be around, Chris will be around Sunday morning, and, and during worship at 11 o'clock, we'll have a few minutes where Chris will get up and, and address everybody and, and share a little bit of his testimony and call to ministry. And then we'll have worship like normal as a church family. And then when we get to the end of worship, after we've done announcements and, and, and announced any decisions, uh, I will move to call us into a called church business meeting. And in this business meeting, what we will do is we will bring the motions from our pastoral staff, our personnel team, our uh, layperson vetting team, as well as our finance team, the different motions to bring uh, Chris Gary to, the, to us as a congregation to vote on. And then we will pass out actual ballots. And, and on those ballots, it'll have a check yes if you vote for Chris or check yes if you do not vote to call Chris and we will vote by secret ballot. But here's what this means. Our constitution and bylaws specify two uh, two things, two parameters to vote. One is that you be a member per the Constitution and bylaws. So what does membership look like? Well, there's four aspects of memberships, four checkpoints you got to cross off. One is you have to know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. you got to be saved. Second is you've got to have followed through after salvation with following the Lord in believer's baptism by immersion. Three, you've got to have come forward and asked to join the church here at First Baptist Pflugerville. And then four, you've got to have attended and finished the new members class. Now, some of you may say, wait a minute, Pastor, we've been church members here for 40 years. There was no new members class. That's okay. If you were a member prior to 2012, you're good. If you've joined the church or come back to join the church since 2012, the new members class is a requirement. So you've got to be a member. And we're going to ask you on the honor system that if you're not a member, that you abstain from voting. The right to vote is a right, ex a right reserved for members of the church. The second thing our Constitution and bylaws say is that even if you're a member, you must be 18 years of age or older to vote in matters of calling pastoral staff or voting on finances, things like that. So you've got to be a member. You've got to be 18 years of older. Uh, as a member, and, and that's how we'll vote. And we'll we'll uh, call a business meeting, we'll distribute ballots, we'll give you time to vote, we'll collect the ballots and take them back to our ballot counting team, and then I will pray and dismiss us. And then we will count the ballots, and in and, and whichever way they go, we will first uh, first contact Chris Gary, and if, uh, if we believe if the church votes to call him, we will ask him if he's willing to come to accept that call, or if, if things go the other way, we'll inform him of that. And then either way, once we've talked with Chris, we will then via email, social, uh, social media, we will let you as a church know uh, if we have uh, voted to call him and if he has agreed to come. And so I just, just want to remind you of that. Well, we've got that information up in case you'd rather read it, but just want you to be sure, want to make sure we've communicated clearly with you as a church family what's going on, because this is a big week in the life of our church family. And, and in light of all that information, here's what I'd ask of you, Pastor, be in prayer. 
be in prayer for us as a church, be in prayer for Chris and Denise, be in prayer that the Lord will just make his hand clear. Uh, we obviously believe the Lord's made his hand clear to this point to bring Chris in view of a call for the role of pastor of children and pastor administration. And we're just asking for the Lord's will to be done and for us as a church family to joyfully and willing, willingly follow behind what it is. So be in prayer this week and know that we'll be excited to see you Wednesday night, excited to see you this weekend for meet and greets and excited to see you next Sunday. Love you, church family, and we will see you later.